Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Thursday night. Tonight we are one step closer to seeing a redacted version of the affidavit the government used to support a search warrant of former President Trump's Florida home, Mar-a-Lago. That release could come at any moment. A federal judge ordered the unsealing just hours after the Justice Department submitted the document with those redactions. There are parts of the affidavit that federal investigators want to keep secret, citing concerns that it will impact the early stages of this probe. The redactions are expected to be extensive. Media organizations, including CBS News, urged the release of the document, something that would be extremely rare, but would shed light on why the FBI searched a former president's home. Well, we have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Robert Costa will start us off from West Palm Beach, Florida. Good evening, Robert. Good evening, Nora. The decision by the Florida federal judge to release a redacted version of this affidavit is a major development in this case, and it could provide new details about why the home of the former president was searched. Late this afternoon, Florida federal judge Bruce Reinhardt, who initially approved the warrant that led to the search of Mar-a-Lago, issued an order that portions of an affidavit justifying the search should be made public by noon tomorrow. Reinhardt wrote that he approved the Justice Department's suggested redactions to portions of the affidavit to protect the identity of witnesses, law enforcement agents, the investigation strategy, direction, scope, sources and methods, and grand jury information. Justice Department officials had opposed releasing the full affidavit and could still appeal the decision, saying last week they are very concerned about the safety of the witnesses involved in their investigation of Trump's handling of classified information some of which went up to the level of top secret. I think what the public is going to learn is, again, just how much effort went into this affidavit, the fact that there are pages and pages and pages of probable cause, potentially the types of documents above and beyond what we already know were seized. Judge Reinhardt made the ruling just hours after the Justice Department submitted the redacted affidavit at his request. Former President Trump, who has previously called for it to be released, conferred with his attorneys in Bedminster, New Jersey today. This comes as new reporting from the Washington Post shows that National Archives officials were urging Trump's lawyers as far back as May of 2021, 15 months before the Mar-a-Lago search, to return boxes of documents they said were missing, including letters from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and former President Obama, and that former White House counsel Pat Cipollone knew Trump had stored documents in his residence and agreed they needed to be returned. And this all comes as the investigation of Trump in Georgia ramps up. Prosecutors said today they want to hear more from members of Trump's inner circle, including former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Nora. So many new details. Robert Costa, thank you so much.